Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. Christmas Eve Eve. December 23rd, getting set to cruise into a Christmas weekend. What about that chance of snow Christmas afternoon or Christmas night? Let's take a look here. See how we're uh, faring on that. Uh, that's the big buzz on the streets. First off, the uh, sky cams. Thought we'd do a water theme this afternoon. First off, the uh, Tom Bigby River, seen from the Demopolis sky cam. That's the lowest sun angle of the year here at the time of the solstice, which, of course, was two days ago. But still, uh, the sun goes down right over the water uh, this time of the year. During the summer, it goes down uh, over Sumter County, well to the uh, right of that shot there. But the sky's mostly sunny. Beautiful day. Up in Decatur, the Tennessee River is seen from the sky cam up in Morgan County. And, of course, all that water flows down here. Gulf of Mexico, always a gorgeous shot from the Phoenix All Suites. And, again, the sun goes down over the Gulf here in late December. And it's a cloudless sky. Uh, some folks enjoying Christmas on the beach. Here's our trough lifting out of the southwest. Things have improved in California and Arizona. And that'll be coming on across, setting the stage for a Christmas storm for parts of the east. Who gets what? That's what the big question is. We'll see if we can address all those uh, questions. First off, temperatures noticeably cooler today as expected. Look at Haleyville. They've only got 41 up there. Birmingham at 47. Even Tuscaloosa under 50. They've got 49. And we'll go down in the uh, upper 20s again late tonight. You travelers, there's the watch warning map, winter weather advisories for parts of uh, Missouri and the Midwest as they will see some snow right here at Christmas time. Still some issues out in the uh, Rockies of Colorado where they've been just pounded by snow for the past week. There's the overall precipitation around the nation for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock. And again, around here, you can see the moisture is pretty skimpy up north. It's better down south. And can there be a few snowflakes somewhere where there's enough moisture in this cold air? And you know the deal. And let's see if we can figure that out. Let's look at the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid at noon tomorrow. Uh, there's the Vortmax over Texas. We've got energy coming down from the north over our parts of the Midwest. And down below that, rain breaks out over Texas and Oklahoma. Snow breaks out over Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Chicago will see some snow from this, mostly light snow. All right, Christmas Day, snow fans, here we go. This is the uh, uh, the latest run here of the NAM, the uh, 18Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. And we've got uh, energy from the northern stream north of here and uh, the southern Vortmax on the Gulf Coast. Nothing is really phased up, and it's looked that way for days. Don't expect any phasing. If we were to have that, it could be a big storm. Here's a look at the uh, NAM surface look at noon Saturday. The uh, zero line at 850, which can be a rain snow line, is uh, well south of Birmingham, almost down to Montgomery. And if, uh, by golly, this is right, there could be a pretty decent little snow there, an inch or two from, uh, say, Decatur, Huntsville, maybe northern Blunt County up to Scottsboro and Fort Payne and Chattanooga. Uh, with uh, rains down there in the, the coast of Louisiana, the heavier rain down there. So that's encouraging for our friends up in the Tennessee Valley. The GFS with much, much uh, smaller amount of moisture uh, north of that uh, rain-snow line. It's a little warmer and not as moist, and that's been the missing factor really all along. It's moisture uh, for where we are up here, and that certainly doesn't suggest a lot. Here's a European. It looks a lot drier now. Uh, north of the 540 line, uh, the moisture very limited. The better uh, moisture again down there in the south where it's going to be rain for the most part. And the Canadian dries a bone. And, it, you know, it just is not done well this winter. Sometimes you just toss them out. And, you know, this one showed, what, a, a half foot of snow here the other day, and now it's got nothing. The RPM has been a very well, a good performing model. And uh, this is valid Saturday evening. And this is actually at 7 o'clock. And it's got some pretty decent uh, little snow showers coming down with that northern system, with, with the northern part of the dynamics. And I think that's what might wind up giving us a, a dusting to one-half inch. Uh, you can see rain continuing down in southeast Alabama. The uh, rain-snow line would be roughly from near uh, uh, Thomasville to Clanton and Roanoke at 7 o'clock Saturday evening. 
Uh, but the accumulated snow coming off the RPM, not showing much. You can see a few spots in there across north and central Alabama, and that kind of goes along with the dusting and maybe somebody there getting one half inch. The, the better snow's clearly to the northeast of here. And I'm telling you, after looking at all this, I don't think we need to really change this map. Uh, uh, we showed this to you this morning, and we'll stick with it for now. We've got a dusting, and that means no accumulating snow, just a, enough to maybe dust the grass in spots to one half inch in a few spots over much of Alabama. That purple zone up there, that's where you might see an inch or a little more. And we've got that down into northeast Alabama. Clearly, the better chance of that would be over Tennessee and Georgia and North Carolina. But again, considering the fact that the uh, some of the forecast soundings are showing a little bit of cape in, in instability, which means we could see some convective snow showers, I, again, I don't see any reason to change that for now. And again, you know, uh, it was going to start as rain, changing over to light snow late in the day. The main difference is that the changeover will be a little, little bit later than we've talked about, probably late Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. Uh, not a big storm at all. Don't expect any travel issues during the day Saturday. Uh, if anything, there might be a little icy spot in a few places on a bridge Saturday night, but uh, no no big deal. The, the big deal is if we can get one half inch somewhere at one of these official reporting stations and get measurable snow on Christmas, which has never happened before. Sunday. Hey, it's cold, man. Baby, it's cold outside. And this is suggesting we might need to hang on to a chance of snow flurries, uh, maybe down into the Tennessee Valley on Sunday morning. And we note that big coastal low is too far east for a major snowstorm for the I-95 corridor, those major eastern cities. Uh, but around here, we'd be in the 30s all day. Monday, same deal. It's very cold. Not as windy. And then Tuesday, after a morning low probably in the upper teens, we start to moderate with upper 40s. Wednesday of next week, dry and warmer. Rain breaks out to the west. There's a week from today, Thursday. Complex trough setting up in the west. And down below that, a strong lee low develops uh, east of Denver. Well under 1,000 millibars. And that suggests... Uh, uh, maybe a big uh, blizzard for the mountains of uh, uh, Colorado. Big snows up north in the Dakotas. And around here, we've got warm air advection. There could be a few showers developing. And then on uh, New Year's Eve, that surface low fills. It's not deepening. It's filling, and it's moving up toward Kansas City. And that suggests uh, windy, mild, and showery weather, maybe some thunder. So we can't forget snow on New Year's Eve. We might be looking at strong storms. And then on New Year's Day, 1111, storms move on to the east. The surface low moves up into Canada, and some colder air begins to drop in here. Uh, but again, cold air wouldn't be all that deep. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 8th. Pretty good vortex over Canada. I uh, got kind of a fast flow underneath that, and uh, again, that looks almost like a little icing issues up in Tennessee. Watching that NAO, you see it goes positive briefly, then it goes negative again. It, it doesn't stay in the positive range for long, which has kind of been the trend if you look back through September. Uh, but again, as it trends positive, it's going to be hard to get really severely cold air down in here. But sometimes that can set up you know, shallow cold air setups for overrunning or something. But we'll see. Uh, obviously, a lot of uncertainty with a, with a pattern flip like that out there in about 15 days. But we'll keep watching. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock or so tomorrow morning. We'll start the holiday schedule tomorrow. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.